Alright, welcome back guys, or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Vision here at Blind Entertainment, bringing you guys in our video. Today I'm going to be doing my Image Comics July 2019 solicitations. So if Image Comics is something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And hit that bell icon, that would miss more future comic content from me moving forward. Now let's begin. First up, as always, we got my honorable mentions for the month. Now for the month of July, my honorable mentions are Fair Lady, Gogor, Hit Girl, Ice Cream Man, Kick-Ass, Little Bird, Postal Delivery, Rumble, Sea of Stars, Section Zero, S Space Bandits, and Thumbs. Now, most of these are just books I haven't gotten to yet, like Fair Lady and Gogor. I haven't gotten to those. I heard Gogor is pretty good. I want to check it out. Ice Cream Man is good if you're into horror stuff. I highly recommend Postal if you're interested in, like... Stuff like Gideon Falls. It's got similar stuff to like Gideon Falls. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the main series. But these are just books that I either haven't gotten to or just aren't as big as some of the other books I'm, I'm reading at the moment. But let's get into the books that I'm excited about for the month of July. Next up, we got Analog issue number six. And a synopsis for this issue reads, Moving Targets Part 1. It's the beginning of a new story arc. And death is on the trails when Sam and Ona traveled to Washington to meet a spy if they can survive a train filled with assassins that's it now I actually really like this series I totally forgot about it it had a five issue run last year I think but then it kind of went on hiatus so I'm excited that they're bringing it back cover for me a little busy but okay I'm curious to see what they do with this book moving forward Next, we got Assassin Nation issue number five. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads What can you expect in this post pounding finale? A band oiler of grenades, an unexpected enemy, a quick draw showdown, a hell of people getting shot, and the power of friendship. Is it gonna be a violent roller coaster ride of bullet wounds, fist cliffs? And danger and mayhem, absolutely. Now, I actually haven't gotten into this book. I'm 50-50 of whether I'm going to continue with it. The covers really didn't grab my attention. They seemed a little goofy looking, including this one. The synopsis, okay, they've been pretty good. Next, we got Criminal Issue number 6. And the synopsis for this issue reads, Tag Lawless falls in love for the first time. And it might be the worst decision he ever made. The summer of 88... The story of the last days of Tag Lawless continue. Now, I like this series so far. The first two issues have been good. I've got to get caught up, actually. But so far, it's been a pretty good run. Curious to see what they do with this book. As for the cover for this issue, not my favorite. The pink, I don't know. It just seems a little silly. I don't know. I'm going to wait because I think this story could turn out very well. But the cover just isn't grabbing me the way some of the others have. But I really do enjoy this. And if you're a fan of Kill or Be Killed, I highly recommend you checking out this book. Next, we got Farmhand issue number 10. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, With Jedediah gone, only Ezekiel and Andrea stand in the way of Mayor Thorne's diabolical designs for the farm. Now, this is very interesting. I haven't gotten to Farmhand yet. It's on my list of books to read. I feel like I said it all the time. I've just been busy lately and haven't been able to read comics as much as I want lately. But I am going to get caught up soon. But I'm very interested to see what happens to Jedediah. I, just because when I last read it, he was still alive. Does he die? Is he alive? Is he in prison? What happens to him? If you do know, do not spoil me. Please, I ask no spoilers. But I'm curious to see what goes on here. Next, we got Gideon Falls issue number 15. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, The misplaced man back in modern Gideon Falls, Father Fred and Angie continue to look for clues about the mysterious Norton and a dark mystery from Father's Fred from Father Fred's past is revealed. And that's very interesting. I really hope we finally get some answers. That's one of my issues with Gideon Falls. I feel like there's too many questions and not enough answers coming out of it. It's good to have questions, but you got to answer them at the same time. And for me, they're just not answering them quick enough. I like that they have some questions, but they need to kind of get go with the flow. Keep going. Don't make them linger. Next, we got Infinite Dark issue number eight. And a synopsis for this issue reads, As Dava attempts to stop one killer and redeem another, humanity's future is determined with a gamble 
Will this ship turn out to be a lifeboat or a tomb? Now that's very interesting. I again still behind on this issue, but very interesting where they take this. Next we got Isola issue number eight. Now the synopsis for this issue reads: Oian and Rook stray from the path to Isola at great cost. Now very vague there. I'm very interested to see where they take Isola. It's an interesting story. Beautiful art. If you're, if you love like art, definitely check out this book because it has like some of the most amazing art of all comics in my opinion. But can make twenty predictions based off the kind of synopsis there. Next, we got Lazarus Risen issue number two. Now the synopsis for this issue reads: Fracture One Part Two, the alliance between Carlisle and Doctor Souza is nothing more than a trap and now forever must face and now forever must face not one but two Lazari in a desperate battle to the death and at at Sequoia Missouri I probably pronounced that wrong finds herself following eight uh, footsteps into a snowy night now I haven't read the first issue, but this book's very interesting, and I'm very interested to read Lazarus, the original series. Next, we got Man Eaters issue number 10. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads Mod suspects that an Estro Corp spy has infiltrated her group of friends, which, not gonna lie, kind of sucks, to be honest. Now, actually, we're like the cover with the fur. I hope they do it like they did earlier in the series where like it's like one of those you can actually feel the fur. That was kind of cool. I highly recommend this book. I know it kind of sounds girly. It looks a little girly. But my God, this is probably one of the sleeper hits of Image Comics right now. One of the best books of Image. Next, we got Middle West issue number nine. And a synopsis for this issue reads, Run as he might, Abel's past is catching up to him. He is a stoned and relieved, however, when he, when the woodland people he and Fox encounter seem to know his his mark. Now, I actually really like this cover. It's really cool with the shadows and everything. Very cool looking cover. I love this story so far. Scotty Young is one of the, my new favorite writers. So I'm very curious to see where they take this. It's been a fun book. A little bit behind. So I can't make any predictions. But I highly recommend this book if you haven't checked it out already. Next we got Oblivion Song issue number 17. Now the synopsis for this issue reads. Into the depths of Oblivion. All is lost or is it? Now not much to go off of the synopsis there. It's kind of vague. Can't make much predictions off of it. Very curious to see where they take this. It has been getting good. I was kind of... I felt like it was overhyped at the beginning, but it's getting better. So I'm starting to enjoy the book more. The cover, okay. Not really a fan of black, but it's, it's okay. It's not my, one of my favorite covers, but it's not like the worst I've seen. So I'm going to give this book a pass as for the cover. But overall, very excited to see what they do with this book in July. Next, we got Outer Darkness issue number 8. And a synopsis for this issue reads, English Hydrix has a secret. Hendrix Hydrix is a spy. I probably just butchered that name, so I apologize for that. But very cool looking cover, very different and new looking. Synopsis sounds very cool. We're going to have a spy among our crew, so that's very cool. I mean, that's an interesting concept, an interesting way to take the book. So I'm excited to see what they do with it. Just hope they actually make it last for like an arc or something. This will be, I think, the end of the second arc, so hopefully it goes into a new arc. But very excited to see what they do with this in July. Next, we got Outpost Zero, issue number 11. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, As Discovery Team prepares to share their monumentous discovery, Aaliyah and Sam have their own secret to share, but will it turn out, turn the outpost against them? Now, that's a very interesting concept. Curious to see what they find. Again, a little bit behind on this story, but very curious to see what goes on here. A lot of these, this book, again, is one of my new favorites. Art a little childish, but okay. And I'm just excited. It's going into new territory, and I think it's going to be really heating up when we get to July. So I'm excited to see what they do with it moving forward. Next, we got Paper Girls issue 30. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Double-sized final issue. It's all been leading up to this deeply emotional series finale of Paper Girls. No spoilers here, but our epic conclusion Features 44 pages of our original story with no ads, and we can't wait for you to read it. So nothing really to predict there. 
I'm again behind on this series, but really excited to get into this. The final arc, I'm probably going to all read it in one swoop because I'm behind on it. But my God, one of my favorite stories books I have all time all my favorite one of my favorite comics I have a video up on my channel regarding why you should check it out so definitely if you haven't already check that video out if you're interested at all in it it's a little bit kind of a spoiler free kind of introduction to the series so if you're interested in it definitely check it out next we got port of earth issue number 12 and a synopsis for this issue reads seattle is scheduled for destruction in order to protect earth from alien outbreak but to protect our authority over our own planet's security, the EC ESA, will have to face off with our alien partners in the ultimate game of of es espionage, po politics, and galactic business. Now, I again, I'm behind on the story, but very interested to get into the story arc with the alien virus and stuff. Sounds very cool and could take the story into a new level of interesting. This will be the final issue of the third arc. So very excited to see where I take this book moving forward. Next, we got Redneck issue number 22. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Perry and Evil come face to face in Mexico. No one gets out alive. Now, very curious to see the showdown between the two of them. I said it before that I wish that they had kept Evil in the background and had him come back for issue 50. I still wish that, but overall, very interested in, and excited to get to this story arc. I haven't read ish, the latest issue, so no spoilers, please. But very interested to see where they take this. I like the cover. Very cool looking and just excited to see where they take this moving forward. Next, we got Skyward issue number 15. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Fix the World Conclusion. In the aftermath of war, how does Willa pick up pick up the pieces? How does she deal with the very different status quo? And what the hell does Willa want to do with her wife now that her world's completely changed? Now that is very interesting going into a new story arc after this. I very love it. Very much love this book. I think you should check it out. I might do a video about this book in general like my Paper Girls video. But very excited to see where they take this. I think this is a very exciting new book. And if you're not reading it, I think you definitely should. I highly recommend you check this book out if you haven't already. Next, we got The Realm issue number 15. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Looking to settle old scores, Ben catches up with Red Jaw and Bunny. The fight you've been waiting for is finally here. Now, based off that, we know we're going to probably get some really cool fight. Other than that, not much else to predict off there. I really love this cover. It's a very cool, like, portrait cover. One of my favorites. I know we'll talk about the... B cover, but I love the A cover the best. This is probably one of my favorite covers of the realm up to now, so I'm very excited to get it and add to my collection, and just excited to see what they do with this book moving forward into the fourth arc. Next, we got Witchblade issue number 17. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Last Days Part 5, Weakened and Unable to Access Her Full Power After the latest encounter with Haley, Alex plays a dangerous game of cat and mouse with the person controlling Haley from the shadows. The barrier between New York and hell comes down. Now that's a very interesting, cool way to go into this arc. We'll be going into this arc soon, so I'm very excited. I'm still a tad bit behind on this book, but I'm getting caught up. But I'm very excited to see where they take this into the new story arcs. So yeah, guys, that's my Image Comics July 2019 solicitations. As always, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That way to miss any more future comic content from me moving forward. And we're closely approaching 100 subscribers. So if you I'm going to do like a special Q&A video for that. So if you have any questions regarding comics, anything in general, leave them in the comment section down below. And I'll answer them in that video when we hit 100 subscribers. This has been Vision here with Blind Entertainment. And I'll see you next time.